Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City. We're here at the Ink Tank booth. So Neil, I, I gotta start at the beginning because you guys are new on the scene. Who is Ink Tank and who do you help? So Ink Tank is a new company here to commercialize the Ceph distributed storage software product, which is an open source product. So that's been in the, uh, the world for a while with many companies using it and we're we formed to help them uh, use that product in production by providing support, professional services and training. Okay, so I, I was familiar with Seth, you know, I interviewed Sage a while back and stuff, but I, I want to ask about the, the name Ink Tank and, and, and how it fits in with Seth. I mean, I'm just curious about that. So, as I understand it, Sage did his PhD at UC Santa Cruz. They have a slug as their mascot, which is a type of mollusk. Uh, squids and uh, octopuses and other such things are also a type of mollusk of the cephalopod group, hence the name Seth and hence Ink Tank with the association with squids. So, so, so yeah, because open source uh, things have to be associated with an animal, like exactly. the O'Reilly thing, right? That's the way okay. it happens, exactly. Okay, okay. okay. so let, let's talk about technology. We're at an HPC show. Uh, Ceph is, is supposed to be very, very scalable and reliable. Do you see this as something that might be uh, come into play as we head to Exascale? Uh, definitely. I mean, this is one of the um, sort of the unique things that Ceph uh, is trying to bring to market here, which is that it brings the same type of scale out that a lot of the web services companies in the Bay Area, you know, the Facebooks and the Googles, uh, have managed to achieve. That we've got an open source technology which allows you to do the same thing or get the same scale, but without that hassle or the pain of traditional uh, storage technology. Okay, so are you guys kind of in the model of, uh, uh, say, like, uh you know, with Ubuntu and Canonical, you provide the support for this open source and, and you know, foster the community. Exactly, that's right. It is, I mean, the community is larger than Ink Tank, um, and there's many people contributing code who are not Ink Tank employees now. Um, but yes, we're here to help people who are trying to bring this or into production or do proof of concepts by providing the support, training, and professional services. Okay, so something like Ceph, I would think, would have a definite cloud play as well, would it not? It certainly does. Um, so a lot of people know Ceph for the distributed file system. System, but it also acts as an object gateway for people looking to do object storage and also it does block. So with the block service um, we've integrated natively with OpenStack, with CloudStack, um, there's an integration with Open Nebula. So whatever cloud system you're using you can use Ceph as the, the block backend for that. But a lot of people are just using it to do sort of cloud-like object storage as well whether it's service providers or enterprises. Okay so it, let's try, I was just curious about how to characterize the type of customer that could benefit from Ceph. What kind of pain points do they have now? that Ceph could make better? Uh, well, cost is, is an easy one. Um, being open source, you know, you're not taking a hit on the uh, proprietary software there. But the pain points are, it's, you know, it's storage is a multi-dimensional problem. It's people who've got scale issues, who've got performance issues, um, and also want to avoid lock-in. This is the, the great promise of open source, is that you can go with the technology, but not be locked into the vendor. Yeah, yeah. So Neil, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about big data. And when I talk about big data, I'm talking about big data analytics mm -hmm. and uh, you know unstructured data mix, all kinds of file sizes, small, big streams. Uh, uh, does Ceph play well all the way through there, or where is it? Where's the sweet spot? Um, so it definitely plays in the big data space. Um, Ceph has been looked at as an alternative for HDFS, and there are companies who are using that, um, using Ceph as, as the, the back end to Hadoop and other such things. So we're definitely playing in the analytics space, and you know, we, we feel we've got a great technology. Uh, for companies uh, playing there, but uh, you know, the, the, as I said, whether you're you know you're doing a storage for um, big data as block or file, it's a single cluster that you have to manage, and so the way you want to store that data or the way you want to access it is not limited with Ceph. It's a truly universal type of storage platform.